Monster fired up. And hey, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, alcohol cars running four wide. It's only the third time it has ever happened. Four wide alcohol cars. Dragsters first. Funny cars will be rolling out here in just a moment, and they are already fired up. Speaking of fired up, he just fired up from the starting line to jump in here and talk a little four wide alcohol dragster racing. He is Jason Galvin. Hey, wait a minute, Jason. Yeah? I heard you say earlier, where was it, on Twitter? Was it that this is going to be your uh, last appearance until, like, later on in the year, right? Mm -hmm. Is that why you're trying to get me a job out there at Maple Grove? Yeah, get me exactly. a job? You're going to slide in here? Exactly. All right. I was hoping you wouldn't catch on. Unfortunately, you did. Well, let me tell you this. I'm not talking over the burnouts. I love my job. Love my job. Kenny Koretsky could afford to take me away from it. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> you and me both. Top alcohol drinks to round one here at the Strip. Like Alan said, only the fourth time we have ever, or third time, sorry, I just misspoke, third time we have ever run four wide. The first time was at this track a year ago. Then we went to Charlotte, and they're back here again. And the first quad out, we get to see the defending event winner over in lane four, but we'll start in lane one with Joey Severance, the four-time world champion was not qualified until qualifying session number four and then he ended up number one that'll fix it hunter green making his debut the son of chad the funny car driver who's standing behind the car is in lane number two that is a randy meyer racing car for bonco and boxo mitch myers in lane number three is a former world champion and sean cowie the mondays towing ngk blown alcohol car the defending event winner is in lane number four. A couple of champions, a defending race winner, and a driver making his debut. First squad, top alcohol dragster. Here we go. Red light start for Mitch Myers. He's out, and so is Hunter Green, who smokes the tires. And it's the two blown cars moving in to round number two. Joey Severance is going to get the win. 527, 274 miles per hour. He left first, he got there first. Sean Cowley, 80 reaction time, goes 529.9 at 274 miles per hour. He was certainly there for the taking if Hunter Green could have made a representative run, but that car smoked the tires right away, and Mitch Myers lifts early at a 674.5 after red light. And I think Mitch went up there as the number 16 qualifier and knew that he had to take a stab at it, and he just took a stab a little bit too soon. So a red light for Mitch Myers, tire smoke for Hunter Green. Sean Cowie and Joey Severance are moving on into round number two. And the next quad. Roll up to the line. And it will feature your number two qualifier. And the winner of the last time out on the tour in Gainesville at the Gator Nationals, her first career top alcohol drags her national event win, Jasmine Salinas in lane one. The Scrappers Racing Team, Rich McPhillips Jr. and Sr., the crew chiefs on this race car. They have a stable of alcohol cars that have really stepped up as far as the injected fuel program goes and competed step in step with Randy Meyer Racing's team here over the last couple of seasons. Jasmine, the daughter of Mike Salinas, the top fuel driver who is down there hanging out along with the rest of the Salinas family. Jackie Fricks in lane number two. Jackie has a bone to pick with Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Lucas Oil NGK Fink Equipment Accelerated Travel Team. John Fink's car down there. John, the crew chief, getting everything started at the back. Jackie, the driver, a big bone to pick for Jackie Frick here at Las Vegas. Jackie Frick in lane number two, I was saying, has a bone to pick with this place because at the World Finals, man, I'm trying to tell a Jackie Frick story. I just keep getting people rolling in here with announcements. We'll get to those. Now we got burnouts. Jackie Frick at the final race of the year for that team last year, which was right here at the Strip, went all the way to the final round against Rachel Meyer. In a race that was for the championship, Rachel Meyer won. 
So I was saying, Jackie Frick's got a bone to pick. Lane three is Garrett Bateman, and that car is not backing up yet. Now here it comes, the Boost Performance team for Garrett Bateman, who uh, has a vast, versatile background as a driver. He was a 2009 NHRA Heritage Series Nostalgia Funny Car Champion. He's part of the Bonneville 200 Mile Per Hour Club. It's a three-time national event, a winner in top alcohol dragster. And Johnny Otten is in lane number four. Speaking of drivers who have won national events, the Clean Boost Oil NGK team for the fire captain out of Los Angeles. Johnny and his father, that operation over there in lane number four. Jasmine Salinas was the number two qualifier. She ran a 529.9 in qualifying. Jackie Frick in lane two qualified 10th. Garrett Bateman in lane three qualified 15th. Johnny Otten in lane four qualified number seven. Attention to the pits, attention to the pits. All Lucas Oil Sportsman Series competitors, we need you to the lanes, please. If you're still in competition in the Lucas Oil Series, we need you to the staging lanes. Four green bulbs this time. First one off the line is lane number four, Johnny Otten. Cylinder out in lane three for Bateman. And Johnny Otten's going to get there first. Five, 23, five, 274 miles per hour. Look at the Otten team going crazy off the starting line there. Low ET of the event for Johnny Otten and that team. And they ought to be going crazy. 523 at 274 miles per hour. And Johnny did his job on the line at 043 reaction time, and he left first. Jasmine Salinas goes 529.7 at 271 miles per hour, and will also move on. Jackie Frick goes 532.4 at 273. That's the best run of the weekend for the Fink team. It's not enough to get it done, and Garrett Bateman as I mentioned, put a cylinder out down there about half track and slowed to a 546 at 261. But how about the Johnny Otten team? They're going to be coming down the return road there in that white pickup truck in Las Vegas Motor Speedway. You need to let that team hear it. 5235, low ET of the event for Johnny Otten's team. And the next squad start to come to life. And while we're at it, we have an announcement here for all of you in the grandstands, for you fans. Just a reminder, the strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway is a non-smoking in the grandstands facility. There is nowhere in the grandstands you are allowed to smoke or vape. Please refrain from doing so. If you do need to do so, please exit the grandstands. Thank you. Burnout's complete for the next quad, and it's James Stevens in lane number one. This car was bad in qualifying. The Nebraska team, the blown alcohol machine, ran in the 530s, three consecutive runs. They were feeling so good, they took qualifying session number four off. Mike Burns is in lane number two, in from Tombstone, Arizona, the Let's Roll. Never forget racing team, in honor of everybody we lost back on September 11th. Mike Burns, former airline pilot, he's retired now, was supposed to be flying that day. So he runs the Let's Roll Never Forget banner in honor of everybody that lost their lives on and after September 11th. Julian Natas is in lane number three. That's the flagship car for the Randy Meyer Racing Team this year for OTG, the Norwegian driver, the daughter of FIA top field champion, Thomas Natas. And Taylor Vetter, the Las Vegas native, the blown machine over there in lane number four for Plan B Motorsports, Nick Janik's team in lane four. Taylor Vetter's only been doing this for a couple of races. And she's going to go four wide at her home track. Stevens, Burns, Toss, Vetter, walk through. Red light, James Stevens. First one off the line was actually Taylor Vetter, and it's going to get the job done. Taylor Vetter wins it at a 533.5 5 at 273 miles per hour. Left first, got there first, and that's a big round win for Taylor Vetter and that team. Julie Natas got there second with a 536 8. Mike Burns, you saw, had some problems down there and goes 561.5. And if you were watching the Sunoco Vision or NHRA.tv, you're going, what about the car in lane number one, James Stevens? Like I said, he got down there first. He also left before the green light came on.
So Taylor Vetter picks up a win and will move on to the next quad along with Julie Natas. And neither one of them are going to like who they're racing against because it's Jasmine Salinas and Johnny Otten who just ran low ET in the event. Boy, there's no quads off in Top Ogle this week, and that's for sure. I have a very important announcement to make right now for those of you out there in the stands or in the pit area. David Johnson. David Johnson. We need you to go to the ticket upgrade booth. It's under the grandstands, the main grandstand, all the way at the end. The end of the main grandstands, the ticket upgrade booth under section M, David Johnson. We need you to go there to meet up with Oakland. Again, David Johnson. We need you to go to section M of the grandstands, underneath the stands, the ticket upgrade booth, and meet up with Oakland, please. Final quad, alcohol dragster, round one. Lone supercharged machine here, burning on alcohol is Chris Demke in lane number one. They made a great run last night to jump up to the number four spot for the 2014 top alcohol dragster national champion Pete Wright car for Madden Racing, your number four qualifier. Ron Anderson is in lane number two. The Dr. Lick Bangs machine in from Chatsworth, California, qualified in the 13th spot. Casey Gristle in lane number three. The Darian and Gristle car, Jerry Darian, the legendary tuner himself, down there still turning the knobs for Casey Gristle. In from Orangevale, California, for Casey, who does a lot of great fabrication work, makes a lot of different parts and pieces to help the crews out on these cars. He's your number 12 qualifier. Madison Payne's in lane four, the third generation driver for Muscle Milk and NGK and Clean Boost Oil driving the Las Vegas-based team owner's car. That's Dwayne Shields' car in lane four. Madison Payne behind the wheel coming off a regional win in Phoenix. So Demke, Anderson, Gristle, Madison Payne. Those of you longtime fans of the alcohol ranks or even the top fuel ranks, Madison Payne over there in lane number four. Her parents are Jay Payne and Shelly Payne, formerly known as Shelly Anderson. Grandpa is Brad, uncle is Randy Anderson. Think there's some racing in the blood? Maddie pulling double duty this weekend. She lost in just a nasty third round battle or fourth round battle in Super Cup earlier. Trying to move on to top off all dragster. Here we go. Everybody green, first one away was actually Casey Gristle. 027 light, Casey Gristle is going to move on on a whole shot because of it. 5.30 with a two for Chris Dempke. He's the winner. He got there first. Casey Gristle was the slowest of the quad in an absolutely fabulous side-by-side-by-side-by-side -side -by -side -by -side quad to end out top alcohol dragster. And Casey Gristle with a 027 light gets it done despite being the slowest of the four cars, and it's not like it was slow by much. A 534-3, Jerry Darian did his job. He kept Casey in the race. Casey's right foot did the rest. Ron Anderson got there third with a 533-3, and Madison Payne, who was the second quickest car on that run, at a 532, got there last with an 088 reaction time. So it's Gristle and Dempke moving on into a combo with Joey Severance, and Sean Cowie, we're going to have three supercharged cars in that quad to go along with Casey Gristle. And three A fuelers and one blown car over there in the other side of the bracket. So it's going to be Joey Severance, Sean Cowie, Chris Dempke and Casey Gristle, Johnny Otten, Jasmine Salinas, Taylor Vetter and Julie Natas on the other side. And it's time to go funny car racing. 